Greetings all. Many of us like to spend their free time playing various computer games, but everyone has a different preference for the game genre. Someone prefers the horror, someone who prefers the usual battle royale, someone who likes to develop not only in life but also in the game, and prefers strategy. But today I want to present a game that helps to combine business with pleasure, and it will distract you with an interesting storyline from everyday life, and also give you the opportunity to earn. And today I will talk about the game, which system, recently gained huge popularity among many users, and this system is a model of play to earn. So, this game is called Tap Fantasy. Tap Fantasy is a blockchain-based MRPG game in which it is possible to earn money, and it is developed in HTML5. Players can interact with Tap Fantasy directly on the webpage, using their MetaMask wallet configured to the BSC network, or a wallet configured to the Solana blockchain. To begin with, I think it is worth telling about the game itself, and what it is, and then move on to the pleasant part, that is I will tell you about how you can earn in it. The story of the game begins with a young adventurer from a far far away planet called Odom, and he needs to evolve to reach certain heights. The stuffing of the game itself is very simple, and somewhat reminiscent of the usual turn-based strategy. Here the players are in an open world, and pump up their character, and equipping him with various equipment. And the higher the level, the more chances you have to defeat the monsters and bosses, encountered throughout the exploration of this world. Also, to improve the level of the character, you need to prepare food for him and feed him. Also, for fighting monsters or bosses, as well as for various actions, such as opening chests with rewards, is used energy, which is called stamina. And in order for it to recover, the character needs to rest for a while. Also, here you can hire partners, who help you on your journey, and they also need rest, just like your main character. Also, here you can join clubs and find new friends with whom you can also develop. Also, you can take part in Colosseum battles and get seasonal rewards for winning. Also, there is a marketplace, where you can buy or sell various items between other players. In general, I can say that it was on the marketplace you can earn, and not a bad amount, but there are other options for earning in the game, which I will now tell you. As I said earlier, the game has a play-to-earn system. And here you earn gold, which is the most common currency in the game. Players have several ways to spending gold, for example, players can consume gold in many in-game destinations. For example, consuming items such as gem pass, AP and ticket, and minigame ticket will require consuming gold, plus additional fees such as withdrawal fees and trading fees will be added during transactions. You can buy almost anything you want for gold, but there are other coins to trade, these are silver coins and copper coins. The exchange rate is 1 gold coin, that's 100 silver coins, or 10,000 copper coins. You can exchange them for BUSD, and the exchange rate is 1 BUSD, this is 10 gold coins. Also, when you kill a monster, you get rewards such as weapons, food, and so on. You can exchange them in the trading house, and if the items are rare, you can get a lot of gold coins from selling them, and then exchange the gold for BUSD and withdraw the received funds in fiat currencies. The second way to earn gold is the rift. And as the name implies, it's a place where treasure lies everywhere. Here you can collect better equipment than outside, and even rare magic crystal and NFT skins. Once you unlock the first watchtower by clicking on it, you will be transported to a Bitcoin-shaped island, where you will begin your journey of advanced gold fighting. But in order to get to this island, you'll need a pass, so you'll need to buy one and start fighting. And the higher your character's level, the better will be your rewards. Well, and the third way to earn gold, which is more advanced, is the Colosseum. This is the most important place in the land of Odom. Here you can conduct battles between other real players, and get valuable trophies for winning, and also increase your rank. Also, every week you will receive a tap token, which is needed to earn rewards based on your rank, based on your number of trophies. And the tap token itself, a currency for the tap fantasy community, is needed to increase the level of the NFT skin. 
Also, you can withdraw your TAP token to your personal wallet and sell those tokens on a third-party market. And you can see which exchanges this token is traded at CoinMarketCap. Also, if suddenly you get bored in the game, you can gather a friendly team and go to Slime Rift, but before you get here, you need to have the NFT in suitable character characteristics. In Slime Rift you can get rare costumes, also gems and luck points. Luck points you will need to participate in the slot machine for even greater rewards. Now let's take apart the NFT skins, which are a prerequisite of the play to earn model. Although you can play the game for free, you need NFT skins to increase the characteristics of the hero, and so you can earn good money in the game. So, here each hero has his own NFT skin. An NFT skin can add one additional skill and is different from the others. Also, NFT skins are divided into four grades, they are R grade, SR grade, SSR grade, and SP grade. And each NFT skin grade gives a certain number of unique skills to the skin. The total supply of all skins is constant and will have a unique identification code, and you must remember that the rarer the skin, the lower its supply. Also, if you don't use your skin, you can put it up for sale and sell it. Also NFT skins can improve the hero's skills and change his appearance. Also, if you can't find the NFT skin you want on the marketplace, you don't have to worry, because you can get yourself a mystery box for a fee. It contains an NFT skin from different collections, and there were only 2000 of them available and the fastest ones managed to buy them out. Also, there is a magic crystal token in TAP Fantasy Tokenomics. This token is used to upgrade NFT assets. After upgrading the skin the abilities will be strengthened. Players can get it by challenging bosses in rifts to get keys and open miracle chests. The developers also created the Tap Mia tool, which is used to create personalized NFT avatars. Tap Mia is a project that can use each player's creativity to create their own personalized avatar. You can mint your avatars into NFTs and then upload them to the blockchain, so that they become your unique assets to display or sell to other players. Oh, I almost forgot, the developers are giving away a free mystery box, which I mentioned earlier in the video. And all you have to do, is leave a comment on this video, with your in-game ID. Also, I ask you, if you decide to play this game and are not registered in it, please register using my unique invite link. Now I think it's worth summarizing today's video review. Well, to summarize, I would say that the project is very popular, as it gives a chance to earn absolutely everyone. With this project it is possible, that you can create the most popular NFT, as here provided all to do so. Plus, here you can create a team, or join one, thereby increasing your chances of defeating a stronger opponent, and earn more valuable rewards, which then can be easily sold on the marketplace and you will get a lot of gold, which can then be exchanged into BUSD. That's all, like this video, if you like it, also write comments, but do not forget to specify your ID in the game to get mystery box, in which can be very valuable rewards in the form of weapons or skins for your NFT character. Bye.